Hello Internet, in this video we're going to learn how to install Shopify Hydrogen with TypeScript. It's very simple, all you have to do is visit the Shopify Hydrogen and just grab this command from that you're going to run from your NPM, from your um, development terminal. So if you come here and I run that command, using the Shopify CLI, NPM create at Shopify slash hydrogen slash latest, okay, it's going to ask us a few questions, okay gonna ask us if you want to uh, use the mock shop well the mock shop is basically uh, a demo store that the team at Shopify created um, that is read-only to uh, I think with a few uh, write operations like the card okay to allow developers to quickly uh, spin up a Shopify storefront apps all right so in this case, in, the case, in this video, we're going to use the mock shop, okay? But if you already have a, a Shopify account and you have a, a store, an existing store, you can select this, okay? Just by uh, clicking the, the uh, but just by selecting that. Uh, the only difference really is uh, because you can switch for back and forth between these two options, so you don't feel tied to one. Uh, if you choose one, it's not a big deal. Just by changing the environment variable, uh, you can switch to one or the other. So we're going to use the mock shop here and we give a name to our demo, to our storefront. So in this case, I'm going to call it demo, demo2, all right? And then and then we change this this is the part that's interesting to us right so here instead of javascript you choose typescript and this is this is it this is all you have to do uh to set up the um hydrogen storefront with typescript so you choose typescript okay and you select whatever you prefer for styling all right so uh Tailwind is very popular these days so we're going to choose Tailwind, okay and you Gonna be asked if you want to install the npm dependencies. You say yes, okay. And you, this is a handy command because most of the Shopify CLI commands are accessible via the npx Shopify hydrogen uh, uh, command. But a short code. This is now asking you if you want the, the short code or basically the alias h2 because it's quite a mouthful to type all the time so h2 will give me do the, jo the same job so obviously we want that okay and that's pretty much it right the the the, the storefront has been built now the last question shopify is going to be um um this is, is asking us here is do we want them to scaffold the project for us with all the routes and so on and basically what they're asking is because they have if you go to the shopify um uh github repo you have the demo store and you have the hello world store okay the demo store has a lot more uh to bring to the table it has it's, it's a bit more finished uh closer to the finish line to a production ready storefront than the hello world so if you want that obviously you want to choose yes here okay and the final question i think now the real final one that shopify is asking you is whether you want your storefront to be uh it, it depends on your internationalization strategy and different stores have different uh, requirements and different constraints that you operate under so if you are if you have all the domains if you have your internationalization strategy um uh is going for multiple domains for each country or each language then you choose this third option here and um if you you rather um, have your internationalization strategy via subdomains, you choose the second option. Or if you prefer subfolders, which is the easiest one, um, um, you choose the first option. Obviously, you can always switch back and forth between them, but uh, using the H2, H2, or in other words, like we saw earlier, NPX, Shopify, Hydrogen, set up markets and it's gonna uh, scaffold the, prop, the, the routes accordingly for us so in this case we're gonna choose subfolders and that's it really and in a few minutes we're gonna have the Shopify hydrogen demo store set up for us in my case I already did that so once that's done okay you come here and in that in the project that was scaffolded for you and you run the command npm run dev and you have all these files here that will be created for you okay as part of this scaffolding and if you're not familiar with what these are check out the shopify hydrogen architecture video where we explain in great detail what every single thing or almost every single thing 
in this folder on this scaffolding is okay and once that's done you can visit now the demo store that was created for you by the Shopify CLI and that's pretty much it for this I uh, hope you found this video useful and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and I look forward to seeing you in the next one cheers bye bye